Hello everyone, we shall be looking at the introduction to indices. Before we proceed, let's look at the definition. Indices is one of the aspects of mathematics that deals with the powers and basis of an expression, such as x raised power n. We know that x plus x plus x plus x plus x equals to 5x. And also, know that x times x times x times x times x will give us x to the power of 5. Hence, x raised power 5 is known as index notation. Where x is the base, where n is the index or power. Now, let's proceed to the laws of indices. Basically, we have 5 to 7 laws of indices. But today, we are looking at the two laws of indices. The first law says a raised power x times a raised power y equals a raised power x plus y. Anytime you have times in between the two indices, when the bases are the same, you sum the index. For example, 2 raised power 5 times 2 raised power 4 equals 2 raised power 5 plus 4. Because the bases are the same, we sum the index, and that is 2 raised power 9. Now, looking at 5 a raised power 4 times 3 a raised power minus 5. 5 times 3, because they are real numbers, you multiply them. So, 5 times 3, then the same base, 4 plus minus 5. And that gives us 15a raised to the power 4 minus 5. And that we have 4 minus 5. And that gives us 15a raised to the power minus 1. In the next edition, we shall be looking at how to simplify a raised to the power minus 1 further. Now, law 2. Law 2 says anytime you have division sign in between two indices, you subtract the index. For example, if I have 5 raised to the power 7 divided by 5 raised to the power 3. Because we have division, we subtract and that becomes 5 raised to the power 7 minus 3. Also, we have 2 raised to the power 9 divided by 3 raised to the power 4. Because the bases are the same, we subtract 9 minus 4 and that gives us 2 raised to the power 5. Looking at this as well, 5 raised to the power 11 divided by 5 raised to the power minus 4 equals 5 raised to the power 11 minus minus 4. From primary school and GSS level, we know that minus times minus is plus. So we have 11 plus 4, and that gives us 5 raised to the power 11 plus 4, and that is 5 raised to the power 15. Combining the two laws, we know that the top one here, simplify y raised to the power 3 times y raised to the power 5. Divided by y raised power 6. The top one is first law, while the second one is the second, uh, the second law of indices. So we have the solution. y raised to the power 3 times y raised to the power 5 divided by y raised to the power 6. You will notice that we have times here. So we do this first, then we combine it with this. So we are going to be having y is common. 3 plus 5 minus 6, and that gives us y raised to the power 8 minus 6, and that will be y raised to the power 2. Now, the tax for you to try, I'll be looking at this in the next class. Simplify y raised to the power minus 6 times y raised to the power 12 over y raised to the power 3. Simplify x raised to the power 13 times x raised to the power 5 over x raised to the power minus 7. End of part one. See you with other laws of indices in the next edition. Thank you.